Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. I'm gonna hit R, and I think I literally played Blue Baby last episode, so I'm gonna not do that, and we're gonna try that again. Okay, Isaac, see, that works. I'm cool with Isaac. Uh, but, you know, I would've gone with any other character as well. I just didn't wanna play Blue Baby a second time in a row. As much as I do like Blue Baby, I want to at least play a different character with uh, most, if not all, episodes that are consecutive. Although, breaking runs tend to not. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> if I had blown up all the poops, I would have been sad, because then I wouldn't have gotten any drops from them, and it would have all just been wasted. Okay, that's interesting. All right, then. Let's check out what's in here. Ah, that's what I like to see. So that's a book. I want to touch that. That'll make it so that the um, libraries are more likely to appear. And the nail, I'm not too enthused about. But I will use it once, and then I'll use this. Okay. Because if that had been telepills, I'd have been totally cool with that. I am also probably going to end up taking the, um... Ah, oh, darn. I wanted another reroll. Of course, for the curse room. Curse room is very nice. Uh, secret room... Oh, was it next to the... It should be next to the curse room. I think it has to be. Anyway, I'm totally going to be taking the... Ah, the thing. The Cupid's arrow, there it is. There it is. I came up with it, everyone. No longer do you need to worry. I remember the name of the item. Anyway, I I'm totally going to be taking that. I just didn't want to take it right away because it's uh, definitely a special item. And uh, if I could just leave picking up the first special item until I had a chance to get another one, uh, that's uh, good strats. And I like good strats a lot of the time. Okay, I'm going to be upset with you if you do exactly what you just did. Yeah, so that's fine though because, oh uh, god, the last half soul heart is infinitely spongy and thus we could not lose uh, more than that half soul heart from any one hit there. And that's a speed up. So I'm gonna be skipping the speed up because I like Isaac's base speed personally. I find it to be the best speed. So I'm gonna skip that and I'll take Cupid's arrow. And sadly there is no way I can get another reroll here so I just have to abandon that beautiful, beautiful curse room full of wonder and magic and be sad. So that's that's a sad life. But now I have piercing tears and that will make it so that good things happen. And those good things are, of course, that my tears go through enemies instead of having knockback. Note that I still would not like to have, oh, red heart damage. I wouldn't like to have red heart damage. No, I wouldn't like to have um, shot speed. I still think it's very bad because there are a number of ways, ways in which it is. It still makes Lump of Coal worse, it still makes homing worse, uh, and let me do a thing. There we go. All right, so uh, and it still makes angling not as good, or not the same. Of course, I find it to be not as good, but that doesn't mean you do. Just trying to emphasize that here and there every so often. But uh, I do, like I said, find it to be much worse still. Even though the knockback is a big part of it and that is gone. So I do appreciate that, but I definitely still don't really want what it's trying to sell. Wow, I'm good. I'm really good. But that does mean... Well, okay, here's the thing. This is a chance to be the secret room. I like that. Three cents isn't exactly what I wanted, but it is still something. Shoot the fire. Go to the boss challenge room. I need to get some reroll going. Pill is bad gas. Ugh, that's a shot speed up. And now I can't go back in, so that sucks. It was a chance and I kinda needed to take it. I've, I've just, my reroll was burning a hole in my pocket. Ah, oh, come on. Watch me not get another reroll, that'd be kinda funny. It's almost like it's coming true. Uh, that's not good. <laughs> I don't want to see that actually happen. Oh, don't do that. Don't... You, you don't know who you think you are. But I know who you actually are. So really, you're just... You're not fooling anyone. Keys are good. Spider butt. Uh, as Isaac, I'm trying to not touch spacebar items as much. I only touched the first two because there were particular advantages to doing so. Increasing the library chance from the Monster Manuel, um, getting the Soul Heart from the Nail, you know, real advantages that I wanted to make sure that were conferred to me. 
So I, I do think that those were worth touching. Some others, like Spider Butt, are really pointless because it's not like they're in the pool more than once. It's not like they're going to show up again anywhere else. Uh, I can go fight the boss now. Chances are I'm not getting another reroll after that, but I still can like I, I, I get a reroll for the Devil Room if I get one, which is really what matters here. So I'm pretty down for that. What we're hoping is... All right, pin's good. I was hoping for Larry Jr., but I was I hadn't checked whether we were on the cellar or the basement, although I could have easily been able to tell. Uh, I was just hoping for a segmented enemy, basically, because, as you might be able to tell, we melt segmented enemies because of the piercing, because it hits each section. Range up is good. I like range up. I don't like the idea of rerolling in here. There, I mean, yes, there are potential benefits, but it's just not really worth my reroll when I could get something far more useful. So I am gonna take the range up. Range up, like I said, good. I'm gonna reroll in here. Get the wafer, which makes it so that only, um, so the damage is only gonna be a half heart. From now on, nothing that does a full heart does a full heart. It only does a half heart. So we're basically guaranteed to have two hits per heart. And by basically, I mean literally we're guaranteed. So that's awesome. Don't get that too often. You also, I don't get um, Cupid's Arrow too often. Hoping to see a library. Library would be a nice find. And I mean, I guess an arcade would too, but I could just find neither. Neither seems pretty good. Wow, you don't be a jerk. No one likes you. I, what, what did I just get done saying? Do you even, do you even words? God, wow, what a jerk. So sadly, there is nothing reasonable for me to get down too low health with to go back to the boss challenge room. I don't have two bombs. I could play the slot machine. I'll play it four times. Yeah, four times. I'll have seven cents, and seven cents is a reasonable place to be. If it gives me a bunch of health, that would work for me. But this is all for a reroll that I can't actually... Never mind, it's pointless. Oh, I played one more than I had. Oops. Yeah, that was pretty silly. Although, I, I guess... Hmm, how much is in here as far as health is concerned? I hope it's a full heart. Yes. So I have, what, three plays on the uh, sacrifice room? I think that's uh, going to be a thing. So let's do it. All right, I only needed one, and okay. Uh, I'm not gonna, like, I was thinking about it after I said it at some point, and there's no point in me going back to the boss challenge room because it's an item that I don't wanna take because it would be a disadvantage. So just, and getting the reroll after that is useless. I need another reroll for that item, not from that item. So that's what I'm getting at here. And yes, I could have checked for the top secret room with that, but it would have required far more incredible bomb placement that I'm not confident in. So I'll give the uh, slot machine one more play. And remember now we are on angel room chance as well as double room chance. Those two are now interchangeable as we have gotten and passed up a deal with the devil. And yes, you can walk in, but you don't have to walk in to get the angel room chance. You just have to have one appear in your playing time for the, like, with, since you've opened the game. Okay, then. Okay, back up. Back up, everybody. You don't know me like that. So I'm liking the way this run is going so far. Wafer's, uh, OP, by the way, if you were wondering. Alright, that's a bomb, and I have no idea where I am relative to anything because there's Curse of Darkness, which means I can't see the map. Really sucks, I hate that. Don't know if that's a shop or a library. So I'm gonna have to skip it for now, and then if it comes to my attention that there are two locked doors that look the same, I'll have to go for it because libraries are so good with the D6. If you uh, touch each book, clearing out the pool, you can get two item room items in each library. Since then, you'll have a higher chance to get them just because you've touched the book in the run. And it's great. So, it doesn't block tears. I'm going to give it a reroll. I don't want to speed up. And that's okay. I'm 
expecting two more rerolls on this floor, at least. Uh, this is definitely worth my stuff. Okay. I don't want to fight the boss yet. That would be stupid. Why would I do that? Of course, I'd need to build up two-thirds of a reroll before fighting the boss, because otherwise, I am not... Uh, I'm not going to be able to do the most optimal things that I'd like to be able to do. Alright, so I'd love to go to this curse room. It's going to have to happen after the boss. Never mind, I can go there, like now. Okay, so there are the two locked doors thing that I was talking about. Alright, you're a jerk. Back off. Uh, also, fix some stuff. Hmm, 50-50 here. Ah, I 50 50 wrong. But because I can, I'll buy this. And as it turns out, I only get one reroll, not two. So, what I'm gonna do is fight the boss. Well, I'm gonna go to the library now, touch the books, because why not? Fight the boss. See if we get a devil or angel room. Decide on rerolls there. Now I'm out of keys, so this book of sin better give me one. That's not a key at all. But that does give me the chance for a nice, beautiful, wonderful arcade on the next floor, so that, that works. Now uh, anyway, Curse Room gets the first look, then I'll maybe re-roll the library. Of course, we've gotten three books out of the pool now, and there are eight or nine, and I do mean eight or nine, sometimes there are eight, sometimes there are nine, unless it's seven or eight. But the Necronomicon is not necessarily in the pool, and as such, the Necronomicon doesn't necessarily confer the um, increased chance of libraries and there's no real way of knowing in any given run without actually like opening up the files, like using spider mod and checking that. Because, like I said, it's not always in the pool. That is all there is to it. So, so far, I, I don't really know. It's not like any book is less likely than the others to appear, so can't really count on anything like that. Wow, I, there's a lot of lost potential on this floor, sadly. Like, I'm not too into the idea of the uh, item room. I want to reroll the library. I want there to be something in the curse room that I can either take or reroll. Um, I mean, I want to reroll like everything in the world. Then we might get a devil or angel room after this. We might get a um, bad item after this. There's so much to reroll and so little that we can do about it. It's quite unfortunate. Also, we have base damage, so I'm not too big a fan of that. Well, that's almost definitely the thing I want to reroll most, but it's also not like I want to reroll everything the most. Let's see what we've got in our curse room, though. Curse room is where dreams are made and broken. Not really. All right, that's a thing, and that's a thing. So that makes my life easy as far as that's concerned. Uh, with the wafer, I think that it's not as important to reroll the boss item for a health up, which is most likely what we'd get. But we could get something a uh, little... I don't know, we could get something more useful than that. Damage up or something. I'm going to reroll the library, though. Got Book of Revelations. I'm fine to use that, and I'm not going to take the speed up. I haven't gotten any speed downs, and once again, I am at a good speed that I like the most and I'm not going to take the shot speed up, so that floor didn't go how I wanted it to, but it did go somewhere, and sadly, we only got a, we got two of the same book in the library there. Once again, we have Curse of Darkness, which doesn't help me at all as far as this whole library thing's concerned, so if once again we see two doors, I'm just going to have to take that gamble again, risk seeing like the habit that I can't afford or something, and cry myself to sleep immediately. So, uh, well, ugh, I hate this room. This room's not as bad as another room with these dudes in it, but it's still bad. I should be able to do this one without taking damage, though. This one should be very, very possible. Just patience. Okay, I need to move. You need to die. Alright, I should have the range to hit him where he can't hit me. Yes, indeed. Okay. And this should be fine. And then one more. This one more is not difficult. I'm just going to slip through there. Risky strats. Not really, though. 
like I said, that room's doable without taking damage uh, very consistently, even on base damage, as I just showed. Though I still did have piercing tears, which are nice to have, and they're helpful. So it's not like that wasn't some form of an advantage, it's just that uh, the room's not actually that bad. It's just annoying. That's not a key, so that does not help me. Uh, but what am I... I'm thinking that I'm going to take the chance on this being the secret room, because it can be. It's not, though. But it was worth a shot, because, I mean, I'd like to not be losing the rerolls like I am right now. So... I would have happily sacrificed two bombs for that. But just give me a key now and we'll all be good. I would have had an extra key if my 50-50 gamble had paid off, but it didn't, so it doesn't really matter what we would have, I guess. Eh, there's a chance for a key and I'm gonna go for it. That did not work out. So we're gonna clear this out and we're gonna hope for a key drop. I'm gonna save the Empress, that's damage up and speed up for a room. Uh, this is a good room to use it in though, that's definitely the case. It's just not the room that I want to use it in. Okay, can you not... there you go. Don't. You don't actually want to be spitting all these flies at me, man. I'm telling you, it's not for your own good. So we're kind of framing right now and I'm actually, like, not sure what I can do about this one. This one's not a thing. Uh, it's not like I can just click something and then it'll go away like usual. So maybe that's showing up, maybe it's not. I don't know. We need more damage real bad. Can I have a key? No, obviously not. Alright, so we've got some problems. I can't fly, so I can't get to that. Might have been able to fly if I got to reroll in that first curse room again, but obviously I did not. Gurgles have a lot of health that it's, they're going to be kind of tough to deal with. There's a free secret room. Free secret room with flight, perhaps? Transcendence would be pretty cool. Any old item would be, though. Reroll? Uh, no, 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 no. That's not reroll potential. Puts me one away from being able to afford something in the shop, but I don't have a key to go there anyway. Why did I do that? Why? What, what am I doing? That one, I disagree with. I feel rather cheated. Okay, let me... Let me try fixing this. Go into the curse room because I, I can. It's not what I wanted to see. This is not working in my favor. This is a room worth using the Empress in. I hate keepers. Keepers are the worst. And this is going to make them not quite as the, as the worst as they are normally. Okay, and that's not a key. Oh my god. Definitely going to play this beggar. I don't even... Like, I don't care that much about shops. Two of diamonds. Okay, I want to use that. And then I want to take this. I want to go to the arcade. We've been getting really lucky with soul hearts, by the way. Play both of these. By the way, yes, it is smarter to only play the... Uh, skull game. However, I don't like taking forever to gamble. I like, uh, I like just getting my gambling done. Also, I'm thinking that we only have a shop on this floor, not a library, which is sad news to say the least, but look at these keys just flying out of this dude. I don't even know what to think about what I just said, but I don't think we're getting another reroll, so... Oh god, really? Uh, so that means that... Alright, let's, um... Let's wait this one out. Let's go to the shop, go to the item room, not use our reroll because we're probably not getting another one, and work from there. So what do we have? Tell me, what do we have? Magneto, item I definitely do not want. Ruins like greed farming and stuff, and then this is what I wanted to see. And I want this too. I don't want to leave either of these, I know. I know that they're worth having. But, what this means is that I can reroll this. I don't really want to range up. I can go to the other thing. The blood donation machine. There are three hearts laying around here. Three 
plays on it, that is. One and a half hearts, three hearts, are the, they're the same now because of the... Ooh, okay. This is wonderful. So each hit now, because of the habit, gives us half of a charge for our d6. Three ticks. Does that for any spacebar item, but... You know, right now we have the d6, and we're going to continue having the d6 here. Uh, yeah, I did pick that up. So I'm going to reroll that again. See what it gives me. Hope it's beautiful. Useful. And uh, work from there. I don't want to do this too much before having fought the boss. So what I'm going to do is play the blood donation machine one time and go from there to the boss and then worry about this after I've completed everything. So that's that's the idea. Although honestly it would be smarter to not play it once until I have to because if I can just get another reroll by going through not taking damage, okay I can't so I do need to play it once. That's all I needed to know. So I will play that once, and I do have uh, those explosives there, actually uh, they're the same, except that they take my soul heart first. So play you once, take the money, and then go ahead because I don't need to play it again. I'm going to get another, either by getting hit in the boss room or by just finishing the room. That's a good uh, boss to see, because again, the segments, we do extra damage basically just because we have Cupid's Arrow, very good item. Of course, I honestly, even though it's not as good against a lot of enemies or in as many situations, maybe it's not better in as many situations. I prefer the Parasite. I think it's a way more fun item. Just because it, it requires a lot more skill, so that's something that I like about it. At least to use it as optimally, optimally as I try to. Because I try to always position myself such that I'm getting the double damage from it which is lots of fun for me. I like that a lot. And it's something, it's small. So that's uh, red heart damage and thus not getting a devil room on this floor. Unless I'm literally the luckiest man that's ever existed. Which I don't expect that I am. Uh, but yeah, I, I prefer the parasite. And it's also just, it's got a cooler visible effect. Because yeah, tears travel through enemies, whatever, that happens. Wow, I'm not a fan of this. I'm just going to reroll that, take the health up, and then I've got more rerolls on the other thing. And another reason that I avoided the previous speed up is now, like with this whole blood donation machi machine thing I've got going, I'm maybe going to get a blood bag here, and that's another speed up that I would definitely not have liked to have had. Uh, and I might have to start playing those for hearts because I think I'm out now. And that's about that. Scapular would be a really nice find. So I just want to check up here and see if there was a heart that happened to exist. No, I'm going with no. Ah, good news, everyone. We got another full heart, which means another full reroll. So hopefully we get something good out of this item room within the next two rerolls. Uh, do we have anything down here? Oh my god, this floor is stacked. So of course there's one way that I want this to go. It's of course... Oh, uh... Yeah, well, I want that. And then... That's a speed down. So, you know, that's kind of a problem, as it turns out. Because now I'm below Isaac's base speed, and uh, I don't like that. I like to be at Isaac's base speed. I think we'd be a bit above if we got a blood bag, but I would really like to get a blood bag now, so that we can be not below it. Because above it is better than below it. But of course, ex exactly on it is best for me. I have nothing to be re-rolling right now. So I'm just going to be playing these. And apparently getting really lucky with it. I'm cool with that. Do I want to do this? Do I? I may as well. I mean, no I don't. No, I don't. I don't want to do that. So, of course, there's the whole thing I could do with this, um, this pill. It could be bad trip, or it could be full health. 
and I could play all the way down to half of a red heart in hopes of the blood bag, and if it fails, use this pill and be reasonably likely to get a full health. By reasonably likely, I that's like that's in some pretty thick quotes. So I I mean I wouldn't really count on that being a winning strat. And now that I have a full soul heart, that's actually kind of not good, but also good, because it can still be a bad trip after that, but it can also not, um, it's not as risky. So I'm going to play this at least a little bit, because this gets me more money. Let's stop after this next one. And if I can get a reroll in here, that'd be helpful. All I want is hearts, though. Uh, finding the top seat room sounds pretty unlikely, so eternal heart's nice. That uh, becomes a health up, and that would be filled if we can get it to the next floor or get a second et eternal heart at the same time. Bad gas doesn't help me whatsoever. And I would really like more hearts. Like, the Skull Game dude hasn't even offered a heart to me yet, I don't think. Okay, that's good. Can I... There we go. Perfect. Oh, that's pretty based. Quite happy to see a dime there, and with that blown up, that means that I don't have to worry about it, I guess, but I also liked that it was speeding up my gambling, taking my money faster. I really wanted that heart, and, you know, it's counter... extra buddy heart. And that time, too, and wow, that was an aggressive... fly. If you do this, I'm gonna be mad. Okay, good. I'm not mad at you. Can you just give me hearts and like let them be paid out? Cause that helped me quite a quite a lot. The dime you gave me was very nice though. Can you like give me anything now? Cause I think you forgot how to pay out at a 33% chance, which is supposed to mean 100% chance because I really need some help here. Oh my god! And no, you can't follow the skulls or know which one it's going to be. It's just you pick one and it's random and each one has the same chance of being correct. So there's no like influencing it you can do or anything like that. Please help me out a little more. I just want health. That's all I want. Thank you for at least a little bit. So now I have four plays on that to go to where I was previously, and uh, I can go really low now, because since I lost half of a soul heart, six plays, uh, I can now use it if I'm at a half, um, use the pill at half of a red heart and half of a soul heart, and it'll still be full health if it's a bad trip. But again, I don't want to count on that. That's just not what I want to do. But I still want to finish playing this dude, and if he gives me that, that's um, a free reroll pedestal. That's a speed up, but I kind of don't want it. It's a damage down, and it's like it's a multiplier, and it's persistent. So I'm not really inclined to do that. It's also like a huge fire rate up, but I don't really worry about being able to get a high fire rate here um, with the habit and the D6. I'm gonna give it a reroll. Quad shot, I don't really like taking his Isaac very much. Plenty of money. Uh, bomb bag, I pretty much don't take. And that's an IV bag. That doesn't help me even a little bit. Uh, so what can I do for a reroll? What would you do for a reroll? There's nothing I can do about a blood donation machine. I can buy the tarot card and see if it's a temperance card. And that would be nice. I did touch the... Um, IV bag. That one, it's not in the item room pool, so I don't think it matters, and it makes it so that I can only get uh, blood bags in the future by getting those to pay out. That's the magician. I don't really have any use for that. And there's nothing I can do to take my red hearts and not my soul hearts, which is really what makes me sad here. Because if I could do that, that would be really, really good. Okay, I did take that. I just wanted to make sure. <sighs> yeah, I... Ugh. I'm gonna have to lose my soul heart to um, get another reroll, and I'm, I'm gonna do it. Chances are this is gonna lose my Devil or Angel room for the next floor, but that's just gonna have to be how it is. 
Now I have two rerolls in here. For a second I thought they were the same and I was like, how? How do you do this game? And now, I mean, this is pretty valuable. I don't want either of them, by the way. I'm gonna give it a second go. Because two items at a time is good. And, uh, well, they're not gonna save me, so this is gonna be where I stop. Ugh. Mini mush, speed and range up. Uh. Alright, well. I did say there was a chance of that. I am gonna go again a few more times now. Because this could be huge. Scapular would be pretty big. I'd like that a lot. Not touching. And what else would be pretty big? I'm not sure. But, I mean, lots of things would be pretty big. I could use damage, remember. That's a thing that I need a lot. And I could use something that gives me a speed up that doesn't suck as well. Don't want either of those. Two more. Nah, one more. I'd like to be uh, a little safe with this run, because it's not like this is guaranteed to be a win in any way. Okay, then. Be good. You're not good at all. Alright, one more. Let's do it. I'm gonna have four health because of the, um... Yeah, I wanna check the boss room. Did I leave any health laying around? Because that could be that extra one for me. No, I didn't. Go figure. So like I said, I'm gonna give it one more and then we'll have four left when we get the health up. That, um, that was interesting. I don't know. Let's see what we get here. Alright, I will take ten bombs. That could come in handy. And I'm leaving a sack of pennies. I don't take dropping familiars, besides the relic, because they all make each other drop less often. And the relic is pretty valuable to have dropping as often as possible. Even if it's rare, doesn't mean that... Like, the other ones aren't really worth having anyway, in my opinion. PhD is good. Just gonna take it. Two red hearts of recovery, and it makes it so the pills can't be bad, only good or neutral. So, it also identifies the pills. And it makes it so that uh, if we're playing the blood donation machine or the IV bag, we always get one more coin of payout, meaning a minimum of two coins paid out and a maximum at three, instead of one and two, respectively. So it's just good. It's just a good item. So, there's pretty much one reason, of course, that I regret not taking the, uh, wow, I, wow. The Thin Odd Mushroom, Thin Odd Mushroom, for that really high fire rate would be really, really nice. But at the same time, I'm, uh, pretty much all about not losing damage a lot of the time, and... Also all about, I don't know, getting more rerolls. I like rerolls. Sadly, I didn't get something out of both um, pedestals in there, but it's not a big deal. So I'm going to go to the shop just to get a reroll pedestal going or have a source of rerolls. But I would say that I expect to fight greed. It's almost a guarantee. It's not a guarantee, but it's almost one. So I'm just going to kind of take that chance, then hope I don't get hit. Of course, insufficient dodging has made it so that I have not yet gotten a Devil or Angel Room besides the first one that I don't think I... I mean, I wasn't likely to get it. So, uh, and I, I'm still on the Angel Room chance, which is the thing that gets me. Okay, so that's red hard damage. Uh, that's more. Greed and I, we're not friends. And yeah, it is possible to farm greed in the uh, shop, but it's not uh, very... It's very situational, and it's just not that good. This is good, though. Of course, this would also make it... I mean, it's not as good with the habit, but it is good. It gives you a full reroll, or it gives you a full recharge for your spacebar item when you pick it up. And also... Wow, that's pretty awesome, too makes it so that uh, you always have two ticks of charge left after using your spacebar item. So that's basically just like you have 
for the d6. A third of a charge. Or one room of charge. For six room items, you get two rooms of charge. That kind of thing. Doesn't affect four room charge items, does it? Yes, it does. It makes them three room charge. Uh, so it, it's pretty good. And if I can start avoiding damage, then it's going to be a nice advantage because I'll get more rerolls. I'll just get, what, like one and a third times as many? Because it only takes two rooms instead of three. Or one and a half times as many? Yeah, it's totally one and a half. Math major right here, everyone. I know exactly what I'm talking about all the time. However, if I don't get any stuff to use my d6 on, whatever am I supposed to do here? This is a very likely location for the secret room. Okay, sadly, it wasn't a useful one. I wanted an item so that I had something to be rerolling because I'm not gonna get another reroll until the boss unless I get a library. That would, I'd like to get a library or this dude. This dude could help out too. Um, Come on, you need to actually be playing when I'm standing here. I mean, I want the health up. I can't just not want the health up. I want the health up. <sighs> Beggar, why you gotta be so useful? Couldn't you be useless once? Okay, so I'm just walking them all over the um, spikes when possible. Because it kills them faster, why not? Sadly, the spike hitbox, as we take advantage of frequently, it's just not that good, so it's not actually that useful in a lot of situations. They'll walk right over it, tangentially get hit by it, and then fall off as they uh, fall into the ooze state. And nobody's happy with that because it doesn't benefit us at all. So, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. It works out sometimes. It doesn't work out other times. Okay, uh, so that Eternal Heart, we can just go pick up both Eternal Hearts now and get the health up immediately. I'm going to do that. Every little bit helps. And then we'll... Ugh, come on, give me, like, some room with an item that I don't want. So I can reroll it into an item I do want. I just feel so bad having a D6 charge and nothing to use it on, and especially when I have the Habit and the 9 Volt. It's like, I can get so many more charges, and I just, just don't have anything to do with them right now. So they're just wasting away, crying inside and outside. I still have enough money for the shop, too, which is just wild. And yeah, you can walk through gaps in that. Same with uh, Super Lusts. Enemies that track it tend to leave gaps in it. So it's... it's workable. Okay, here's this. That's something. I have a lot of keys right now, thanks to that arcade being very kind to me. But, oh, that was silly. Wow, that was also silly. Uh, I'd really... Uh, I'd love a library. I've only gotten three books so far, and that's not a lot. I mean, I'm just going to finish the floor, because why not? I'm still at base damage, which is really, really bad. Curse room. Okay. See, that's what I wanted to see. Now, I am just going to not go to the curse room until after the boss room. Especially with the whole health situation I'm in right now. I would love if I could get another full health pill. Because uh, I'm bad. I'm playing badly. <laughs> I'm playing, like, exceedingly badly. I'm going to use bombs offensively if I have to. It's the depths and not Necropolis, so we're pretty unlikely to see a horrible boss, but I would not like to see war. As if on cue. Okay, so put some bombs near that tinted rock. I mean, I do have eight hits right now, no matter what. Eight hits that I can take. And that's plenty. That's a lot of damage. I shouldn't get hit by war eight times. Though I am slow, so when we get him down into his next phase, we might have a bit of an issue. Especially if this contains the small rock. Which I can't say no to. I want to make sure you understand that. Uh, you're really not in a pleasant location, war. I want to take that in the middle of the fight to speed things up, but at the same time, I guess it's actually kind of advantageous to not do that. 
because it means that I'll take less damage as we continue with this fight when we get into the next phase. I don't know. Let's see how we outrun him right now. Oh god, it's bad. Might be dead. Don't get screwed by speed too often. But I'm gonna die. And I can't do anything about it. So that's why I don't like being below Isaac's base speed. Isaac's base speed does completely work though. Uh, you wouldn't have that problem at Isaac's base speed. Um, I also, that's why I prefer higher speed than Isaac's base speed to lower. And with the small rock, we wouldn't have had enough damage to survive that, actually. I did have options at speed ups, but I found that at the times, of course, they were not really things that mattered. Like, I didn't want the huge speed up from the Roid Rage, because that was too much. That would put me at a very bad speed. Not that I can't handle it. So I guess you could consider that a, a lesson learned, sort of. Because that would have definitely saved me and I could have been dealing with it. But I'd still prefer not having to. Um, and then Thin Odd Mushroom conveyed the damage down that I didn't want to do because we had the potential for something nice just by being Isaac. Anyway, stuff happens sometimes. Uh, I'm really, eh, you know, happens. But, man, we were getting no damage ups and nothing useful. Well, okay, nothing useful. We got Habit Wafer, 9 Volt, PhD, Cupid Zero's, eh. Plenty of health that just didn't end up coming in handy. War OP? I don't know. I'm rambling at this point. Oh, let's see what my stats are like. Bad, but <laughs> plenty more positive than I used to be. Of course, I used to be at like 1 in 200 kills deaths. I got my second mom kill at like 200 deaths. I don't know why I'm rambling here. I hope you enjoyed the episode. That was a very unfortunate end. I did say I didn't want to fight war, and that was pretty much why. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.